We've traveled to some of the biggest markets in the world to tell some remarkable stories, but this is a story about small town America. Lisa. What coaches out there in America have meant more to their respective sports than people like John Wooden in the 10 national championships that he won in men's college basketball? Gino Oriama in the women's game, who just matched that mark, winning his 10th. But on the high school level, a guy you've never heard of, A.C. Shaw. He's going for his fifth state championship in the state of Idaho. And who better to tell this story about this remarkable coach than Gino Oriama? You've probably never heard of Dietrich Idaho. I sure hadn't. Two hours south of Boise, Dietrich's a town of 300 people and some 30,000 cows. Livestock is half of our income. It's real important. There's just not a lot of things made in Dietrich. What is made in Dietrich is this. One of the most dominant high school basketball programs in the country. The Lady Blue Devils are led by a 40-year-old cattle rancher, A.C. Shaw. He's as good as anybody they've ever had in the state of Idaho, I guarantee you, at any level. Four-time Idaho Coach of the Year, A.C. Shaw. Can't walk and can barely talk. And the reason why has everything to do with life in Dietrich. It was really, really scary. I had no idea what was happening to me. <laughs> AC Shaw has always been a cowboy and a basketball coach. I remember during practices, he would always run with us, and if we couldn't beat him, then we'd have to run again and again. In February 2011, AC got the Lady Blue Devils into the state championship game. And there's the buzzer. The Blue Devils are state champs. They played with a lot of heart. They never gave up. Uh, I'm proud of them. Good the job, girls. The morning after AC won his first state championship, he returned to his ranch. Late winter is calving season, when cows give birth. The weather's tough, we lose calves. It takes about 15 minutes and they're frozen. Hyperthermia. AC spotted a newborn calf shivering in the cold. He placed it in the passenger side of his pickup truck. He drove the calf 30 minutes to a hot box. Three days later. He had chills. He had fever. He had, he was throwing up. And then his hair was really sensitive. And I'm like, that is so odd. How can your hair be sensitive? AC's condition kept getting worse. His family decided to take him to University Hospital in Salt Lake City, Utah. AC was losing his motor skills. His brain was swelling, and doctors didn't know why. At age 36, AC's body was failing. I went to Ace, and I said, do you want to fight, or do you want to just, you know, go? And he says, no, I want to fight. AC spent four more months in the hospital. His condition slowly stabilized. Doctors eventually concluded that AC's illness was caused by a virus that he breathed in from the newborn calf he had in his truck. AC returned to Dietrich in July of 2011. but his life would never be the same.
everything I used to do, I couldn't do anymore. It's very hard to be dependent on somebody else for everything. Fall 2011. With basketball season approaching for the defending state champions, the people of Dietrich didn't know if their coach would return to the sidelines. I knew I had my mind was there, it was just that uh, my body couldn't function like it used to. He couldn't walk, and he couldn't talk. And so that's where I came in. I could walk and I could talk. With AC back on the sidelines, the Lady Blue Devils won every game and captured another state championship. It's over. Dietrich has won. Undefeated season is great. It wouldn't stop there. They would go on to add two more state championships. The Dietrich Blue Devils have forfeited. There's just a lot of things Ace can't do. But one thing he can do is he, <sighs> he can coach basketball. In the 2015 season, AC and Dietrich would chase history. The state tournament was held a few hours away, just outside Boise. No team in the state of Idaho had ever won five straight state championships. No play with your heart now. 32 minutes left, making this. The championship was tight throughout and came down to the final 30 seconds. So it will not be the storybook ending that Dietrich was hoping to get. Dietrich lost 48 to 41. Don't hang your head because we lost. You guys are champions to me. That's all that matters. Maybe not a lot of things are made in Dietrich, Idaho. But here's what's found there. A town epitomized by its coach. I can't describe what A.C. Shaw means to this community, but the people of Dietrich can. Just ask them. Hi, A.C. This is Sherry. Hey, O.A. Glenn. You know, I'm so proud of you. A.C., thank you so much for all you do. Hey, I want to thank you for your dedication and perseverance. The you and the girls have so much heart, Ace. I love you. Bye-bye. In life, some things aren't going to always go the way you want. I still think it's important to be your best everything you do.